Hello and welcome back to part 2 of Trapezius tutorial on using SVNX in Mac OS. Uh, in this part of the tutorial we're going to talk about uh, getting your files into the repository and working copies. So actually for the demonstration purposes we've set up a sandbox repository and we're going to make our changes there since they won't be reflected in the actual production work. Double click to bring up a repository window. Now, at the bottom of the, the top of the screen uh, is a commit log. The bottom of the screen is a browser, typical finder style. You can click around and view the contents. In SVN, you check out folders from the repository to a local working copy of those files. You make your changes in the working copy and then you commit those changes back. So to get started we're gonna choose a folder and check it out. Actually we'll check out the check me out folder. Simply highlight it, click the check out button. Now it's going to ask you for the local destination. You should always be putting it in a new empty folder. We will call it working copy for now. And as soon as you hit check out in SVNX, it's going to make a little bookmark to your working copy for the working copy view. If you want to check the progress of the download, click this little output button to toggle a console and this says we're done completed okay we're good to go <clears throat> now if I double click the working copy bookmark it will bring up my working copy view which is defaulting here to smart mode and it's only going to show what's been modified so if we want to see everything this looks a bit more like what we're after. And we can reveal and find her with this button. There it is. Now if I want to add or upload files, I simply need to move them into the working into my working copy, flag them in subversion for add, and commit. So we're gonna go through those steps right now. In my documents I have a PDF file I'd like to add. So I moved it into the working copy. Now we want I want to refresh my working copy view. And now subversion recognizes that this is an unversion file. And the question mark denotes that basically prompting us what what to do with it. It's not actually ready to be uploaded yet. First we must tell subversion to add it by selecting it and clicking this button. Now to upload that file all we need to do is select it and click commit. Every time you commit you'll be prompted for a commit message and there you just want a quick sort of one-liner describing your change. This will be visible in the commit log. After it's done uploading, the A will be gone. It will be a regular part of your working copy. We can see the revision number has incremented and we can also toggle output to see the console completed. And for further proof, we can look a repository view and there it is now revision 61 the file that we added thanks for watching now you should know how to check out a folder add a new file and commit it back to the repository using SVNX for Mac